Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is usmlevideos.net. As always, we invite you to visit our website at uh, www.usmlevideos.net where we post videos daily. And uh, if you are preparing for USMLE, you are welcome to visit us. And uh, we posted uh, resources and blogs and uh, the most important points you should know. So you are welcome to visit us. Tonight I want to discuss a few things about uh, pharyngeal arches. Now this is uh, a confusing subject and uh, but unfortunately we must remember these things in order to successfully answer our questions. There are five pharyngeal arches. In fact there are six but the fifth pharyngeal arch does not develop. So we end up with five pharyngeal arches. Those are one, two, three, four and six. Now we should know what are the muscular contributions from these arches, what are the skeletal contributions, what are the nerves associated with them and what are the arteries associated with them. Let us start with the first arch. The muscular contributions are muscles of mastication, anterior belly of digastric, mylohyoid, tensor tympani, tensor villi palatini. Then the skeletal contributions of first pharyngeal arch. They include maxilla, mandible, incus, malleus and meckles cartilage. Now the nerve of first pharyngeal arch, trigeminal nerve. The artery associated with is maxillary artery. Then the second pharyngeal arch. First of all the muscles. The muscles of facial expression, buccinator, platysma, stapedius, stylohyde and posterior belly of digastric. These are the muscles. Then the skeletal contributions, stapes, styloid process, lesser horn of hyoid and Rikert's cartilage and the nerve of second pharyngeal arch, the facial nerve and the artery of second pharyngeal artery, no, sorry second pharyngeal arch that is stapedial artery. Now coming to third pharyngeal arch, what are the muscular contributions? There is only one muscular contribution that is stylopharyngeus. Then the skeletal contributions, the greater horn of hyoid bone and thyroid cartilage. The nerve associated with the third pharyngeal arch is glossopharyngeal nerve and the arteries are common carotid and internal carotid arteries. Then fourth pharyngeal arch. What are the muscles? The intrinsic muscles of soft palate. What are the cartilages associated with it? Epiglottic cartilage and cricoid cartilage. What are the nerves associated with it? Vagus nerve, the superior laryngeal nerve. And what are the arteries associated with it? Right fourth subclavian artery and aortic arch. And now finally the sixth pharyngeal arch. The muscles associated with are intrinsic muscles of larynx. Then the cartilages are arytenoid cartilage and corniculate cartilage. Then the nerves associated with sixth pharyngeal nerve. The vagus nerve and the recurrent laryngeal nerve. And finally the artery, the sixth right artery is the artery associated with the sixth pharyngeal nerve. Now to simply develop there is a mnemonic that is she ate, she looked into the mirror, she, she drank a glass of water and finally she went away. So just four words. Number one she ate. So what do you eat with? the muscles of mastication. So the first pharyngeal arch muscles of mastication. Muscles of mastication are supplied by trigeminal nerve. So first pharyngeal nerve 
it is muscles of mastication and trigeminal now. Then secondly, she looked into the mirror. Why did she look into the mirror? To look at her face. So it is facial now, the muscles of facial expression. So second pharyngeal arch is associated with facial now. Thirdly, she drank a glass of water that is glossopharyngeal now. So third one is glossopharyngeal now. Then fourthly, she went away that is vagabond that is vagus now and vagus now is also associated with the sixth pharyngeal arch. So basically that is a quick review I wanted to give you tonight about uh, pharyngeal arches. If you have important points please feel free to comment and send them to me or post on our blog at www.usmlevideos.net that is www.usmlevideos.net. Thank you. Have a good night.